Hello guys, it's James here from Technical Effects. Now, first of all guys, I would just like to say a massive thank you to all of you for all of your happy birthday messages that I received yesterday. Now, yesterday guys, I put out a video on IGTV, um, which I really want to help as many of you as possible with. So, what I've done is I've brought that video to YouTube so that more of you can view this video and so that you can view it in a larger format. Okay, so this video was posted on IGTV yesterday, um, which is therefore why I mentioned IGTV. But guys, hope you enjoy this video. This was my birthday gift to you. Hello guys, welcome to another video. Now guys, first of all I'd like to thank you for following. Today is my birthday and I'm going to give you a birthday gift from me. So guys, pay attention to this video, okay? This video will help you alone more so than anything else that you will pretty much find free on the internet. And because it's my birthday, I want to give it to you guys. And if you like this video, guys, in the comments below, please just comment, structure is king. Because the market structure is the base of the market, and the market structure is king. Now, guys, we here have a blank chart, a complete blank chart. And I want you guys to just go through a blank chart and just take a look and see if you can spot what I'm about to show you. So right here, guys, we're on the daily time frame. Forget the market, it doesn't matter. This happens on near enough every single market, okay? So forget the market that we're on, it really doesn't matter. Now, all I really want to show you is how much market structure can help in your trading. So right here, guys, what we have is a low point. Now, this low point pushed to the upside where the market formed a lower high point. The market then broke through this lower low point, and what happened? The market broke through and then the market broke, and then it came back, and then it continued. Okay, so right here would have been a nice entry point because the market has done what? The market has formed a new lower high point, showed price action in this area to then push off to the downside. Now, we then had this new low point right here. What happened after this low point right here? So let's draw it across and let's take a look at what happened at this low point right here. The market broke through this low point, the market pushed, the market then pulled back into this zone, and then what happened right here? The market showed price action for a rejection, okay? The market showed a price action for a rejection for a nice entry to the downside. Again, what happened from here? Let's draw it out. So we then had the market do what? The market then pushed to the downside. The market broke through this low point right here. So the market's now broken through this low point and come back into this low point to form a new lower high. Again, there's plenty of price action in this area to then signal the potential downside move. What then happened from here? The market then formed this low point right here. Low point, let's highlight it. We had the low point, the market then broke through this low point, came back up into this area and then pushed off to the downside. And this repeats, repeats, repeats. Now guys, it's not every single time, because if it was every single time, it would be too easy for the, for the markets to be traded. And you need to take into account that the areas won't always be rejected exactly to the pip. The market will come into this zone, it may push above, or it may just spike into this zone. Now we can go along here, and we can just take a look then at another example, which was to the upside. So what we can see right here, guys, is a lower high point. The market formed what right here? The market formed a double bottom. Now what happened right here? We had the lower high point, okay? We then are able to draw a box zone from this lower high point over here. What do we then see happen? We then saw the market break out of this lower high point. The market then did what? Came back into this area and then rejected from this area 
and push to the upside. A nice buying opportunity, and this highlights that the market is now potentially ready to continue back to the upside. Now, if we just look left and we drag this zone across, we can therefore see this would have been a nice take profit zone. So that's one example that I wanted to show you, and I'm now gonna open up another example. So this example here, guys, is on the one hour time frame. The previous example that we looked at was on the daily time frame. So what we can see here, guys, is yes, the market here was ranging, but we then wait for the market to show a breakout of the range. And that's exactly what we saw happen here when we saw this push to the upside. The market broke out of this range, uh, looking left, the market broke out of this range, let's just highlight it. So we had this ranging area right here. The market took a push to the upside and broke out of this range. What happened after that? The market came back into the range and then we saw the market push off to the upside. Again, nice price action here for a potential long position. Then what can we see happening in the market? Well, we see this high point. So we then draw a zone from this high point and we then look left. What happened? The market pushed up. We broke this high point right here and, sorry, one second. The market broke this high point right here formed a new higher high in the market. The market then came back down into this area right here, and we then saw the market show price action for a rejection to the upside. Now, what we can see here, guys, and this is a great example of the fact that the market isn't always gonna come back to the downside. So right here, we had a new high point. Now, the market here, guys, showed an extended move and pushed all the way into this region. Did we see the market come back down into this region? No. That's fine, it just means that there was potentially no trading opportunity because there's not always gonna be a trading opportunity in the market. So what we then do, guys, is we just then be patient and we mark on the next high point. And if we look at this high point right here, this one right here, what do we see happen? We then saw this break to the upside, we then saw the market come back down into this region, and what do we see happen right here, guys? We saw the market rejected. And the market was rejected here and then pushed to the upside. Again, a nice potential long opportunity could have been taken in this market. And this, guys, if you just take a look, what do I have on the chart? I have nothing. This is a blank chart. So I advise you to go through a blank chart, take a look at the structure of the market, and just really see how much the structure of the market is king. Now, guys, as I said, this won't happen every single time, and you need to identify when the market is trending and when a market is ranging. But this is my birthday gift to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go to your charts, open up a blank chart, and just take a look back in history at the market structure and how it flows and how it comes back into these areas, and then analyze the price action that you see form at these areas, and then thank me later and I wish you guys a best day.